Okay. Uh, thank you very much <laughs> for the award. Well, good afternoon. On behalf of the Network of Support for Women Municipal Leaders, or RIAM, as you see seen in the, in the video, uh, is our acronym in Spanish. I would like to express my gratitude to NDI for awarding our organization the 2013 Madeleine K. Albright Grant. Thank you very much. Out of all the talent and the serving groups around the world that work on behalf of women, we are honored that our work to promote women's rights and increase women's political participation in Mexico will be noted by Secretary Albright and by the National Democratic Institute. The Network of Support for Women Municipal Leaders is a civil society organization created in 2009 to strengthen women's leadership at the local level and support women's participation in political bodies and government institutions across the country. As NDI and RIAM know all too well, we must ensure that women have a seat at the decision-making table. If we hope to see real change in our governments, political parties, and communities. In the last decade, Mexico has made great strides in women's political participation at the national level. This is due in large part to legal and electoral reforms that help women to better compete as candidates as leaders. In 2008, Mexico's Federal Congress passed an unprecedented amendment. It said that no more than 60% of candidates could be of one gender. On a federal political party, candidate, candidates list, in other words, 40% of those candidates must be women. Well, must be men. In other words, 40% in those candidates must now be women. That's one of the highest gender quotas in the world. These landmark reforms also require political parties to make an investment in women member and future leaders. The law says that at least 2% of the funds the federal uh, government gives to political parties must be used for women political training and leadership development. 2% might not sound like much, but from 2008 to 2011, political parties got about $18 million from the government. And parties did put aside 2%. But that I said, instead of spending, spending it on a training programs to help advance politically, they spend it on a party supplies, vacation, retirement, benefits, bonuses, laundry, and electrical bills. <laughs> yes. In response to this out outrageous abuse, civil society organizations come together, came together with members of political parties, government institutions, and individuals to ensure it never happened again. With support from the NDI field office in Mexico City, we formed a coalition that drafted a regulation to guarantee that the 2% went only to support women's political empowerment. To get it passed, the coalition called 2% and more women in politics launched a media campaign, built a social media presence, and circulate online petitions calling on Mexico's Federal Election Commission to adopt the regulation. To measure set clear guidance for how parties could and could not spend the training funds and 
it require parties to submit an annual plan to the Electoral Commission and how they plan to spend the money. Thanks to the coalition efforts, the reforms were unanimously approved in July 2011, and a year later, elections in 2012, last, last year, saw historic gains for women in national politics. With 183 seats in the National Congress going to women, that means a more than 5% increase from the previous election. But our work is hardly done. At the state level, while women are fighting for representation, they hold just 6% of municipal presidents or mayor's office. And the financial support that help women compete at national level has in fully taken root. Just half of Mexican states designate a specific money for training and leadership development for women. And the states that do have these financial regulations, there are no guidelines to ensure that funds are used correctly. The political parties are not trained or well informed about how to use these funds. Our organization will use the Madeline K. Albright grant to change this. Using lessons from the national 2% campaign, we will bring together civic, political, and government representatives to four municipal coalitions in the four states of Yucatan, Guerrero, Estado de Mexico, and Michoacán. RIAM will assist these coalitions and they campaign for regulations to ensure that funds are used effectively to promote women's participation. With this project, RIAM hopes that the progress made at national level can be duplicated at local level supporting women. As they claim the seats they deserve at the tables where decisions are made. I would like to thank NDI on behalf of all members of the RIAM and the women municipal leaders of Mexico. We are deeply honored by your belief in the women of country and your faith in the future of Mexico's democracy. Like one of my colleagues says, we hold up half the sky. We deserve the half of the power. Thank you very much.